Hi everybody and welcome to Reads Reads, Spider-Man Crawl Space Edition. Please check us out at spidermancrawlspace.com. Well, a uh, couple weeks delayed here. Unfortunately, I've been sick or members of the family have been sick. And a uh, good example, we have below zero out weather here. So I'm finally going to get around to my review of Champions Number 3 here by Mark Wade and Humberto Ramos. So, first of all, the pros. Um, this uh, continues to do pretty well. One thing I've been liking about this book is Mark Wade has not just been doing cliffhangers for the sake of cliffhangers. He's been actually having a much nice segue into the next issues of the the uh, resolution between Viz and um, Amas Chow's Hulk uh, kissing at the end of issue two is actually resolved pretty well with some very interesting things where she kind of brushes him off like, well, I tried, it was interesting, but I didn't feel anything and he's in you know Amos is in his head is thinking well yeah me too and then secretly find out he's kind of has his heart broken because he kind of liked her but she can't you know you know reciprocate the feelings and everything it's like the classic you have a crush on somebody you finally get together or you finally go out on a date and then find out it's not what it's cracked up to be it's such a nice human reaction but the real meat of this story is them going to the middle east to a foreign country to deal with uh, women's rights and everything and uh, wars and everything uh, for the champions because something they've been trying to establish is why they're doing it different than other superhero teams that they're getting involved in conflicts but you know ones that you know, aren't getting resolved and why there's no super villain pushback, you know, and fighting, it's pretty well done of what the story is, that they are not violating international laws, but they're trying to make a difference for people. And that the champions isn't about being a superhero team, but being, you know, a movement to be a champion. I really like how everything works out. Um cons, not too many cons. I mean Humberto Ramos's art is really good. The story flows very well. Um I think it's because it was more of a done in one issue. I could have seen this being a little bit more of a continuation uh, into two issues and not being padded. And the cliffhanger is really interesting with the uh, jet exploding at the end with the champions all inside of it. And also I think the conflict between who's supposed to be leader is a little forced and everything because it kind of still paints Sam Alexander as a little too hot-headed. I'm 15 and oh, uh, hey, I I'm right. No, you're right. No, I'm wrong. Um, but I still love the interaction between the teammates, between Miles, Kamala, Sam, Young Cyclops, um, Hulk, and everybody else. So the storyline is really good. I really like where Champions is going as a series. I mean, we're three issues in, and it's still a book I like to pick up that has really good characterization, um, nice use of the team, even though there's other things going on in their own books, and Mark Wade's not you know, stepping on anybody's toes with his storylines, but it's very believable and a very enjoyable story. And we're actually seeing where the book's going, why they're young heroes and everything else. They're not, they're more about movement and doing what's right, not just making content, you know, decisions. And when a mistake happens, they admit it's wrong, they learn from it and move on. And I really like that about this book because it's very hopeful. Um, it's not straightforward. It's not heavy handed. It's, it's well done. This book could have been heavy handed. So I'm going to give it an A minus. Nicely done. I'm um, still enjoying the series. Looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in issue four after, you know, the team seemed to be, you know, sabotaged with their jet exploding, uh, which could have been something from the terrorist group they were stopping or the fact it could be that supervillain that was hidden in shadows in issue one. So we'll find out in a couple weeks in the new year. So that's going to do it for right now. Please come us over at SpidermanCrawlspace.com. Please check out the podcast, our other reviews, and more. And I hope everyone has fantastic and warm holidays.